Hi everyone, I'm going to show you the process of importing an old course into a new course. So there are two similar uh, processes on TeenLearn, um, but one of them you have access to and one of them you don't. So if you go to your course management button, um, you'll see that one of these is copy course. This actually creates an entirely new course shell and copies all of the old course that you're in into the, the new one. You do not have access to this. So um, I can make a course, but everybody else can't. Um, so what you would want is actually import. So for this, you'll want to go to the new course that you're starting to prep for the upcoming semester and you'll click this import button. So I've got my um, upcoming Black Media Studies course here and I have a lot of different courses. It'll tell you there are too many search results so what you have to do is actually uh, search for what you want. Alright, so I've got my Afrofuturism sandbox course so I can click that. Now, this page is very picky, very picky. And so sometimes you won't necessarily search for one specific phrase. Um, sometimes you might search for a, a number. And if you search for a number and a section, sometimes it won't bring you anything back. Let's see if it does it for me. Oh, it actually did it. So sometimes it'll say no course is found or it'll give you some sort of error. If it does that, take the section off and look for it that way and it should come up. But again, if you do have a really specific phrase that you can put in for your course, um, then you can also search that and it should bring it up. So we're gonna click this. All right, now there are two different ways you can do this. You can import certain things piece by piece or you can import everything at once. And so let's say that um, you know, you are going to stick with the readings that you had in the last class, but in terms of everything else, um, assignments, quizzes, you're, you're nuking it and starting from scratch, um, then all you have to do, if you are only including the readings, which I would assume would be PDFs, is include the files. You might want to include blocks, that's including sections as well. So there's that, um, oh, legacy course files too. So, but basically you want to include the ones that say files. Let's say that you're doing all new readings because it's a, it's a different topic. So like topics in black media studies, we're covering a different topic. So we're going to do some different readings. Um, then maybe you only want to include the activities. Maybe the activities are, are what's going to stay the same. Um, let's say that you really don't care about anything other than the quizzes. You want activities and resources, but you also want to make sure that you include your question bank. So basically this will pull in the name of the quiz and maybe all the quiz settings, but it won't pull in the questions unless you add the question bank. So if you're doing things piece by piece, you want to make sure that you've added the specific stuff that you want to bring over. And when you click next here, it actually gives you a chance to go through and look and make sure that you have the things that you want to have. So right now, um, it looks like it's actually bringing over all of my assignments and I'm not sure I told it to do that. So let's go back one. You do have time to readjust. Oh, okay. So I did say activities and resources on this. So it brought all over all of my assignments and the different blocks and what I had named them, the different sections and what I had named them. So that's how you do that. But for now, what we're going to do is just go through here and do all of it. So in that next page, you can kind of go through and as you saw, it had everything. So let's say that uh, you want the assignments basically for the most part, but maybe you're not doing movie responses this semester. You can take those off, the specific ones off on this page. And again, you can go back and change things if you want to. So that's what it looks like if you're going piece by piece or you have specific wants or needs for your new course. But if you say, hey, I loved the course the way it was the last time, all I want to do is import it, then you can just click this button that says jump to final step. 
and it'll take you through a quick little time thing and then you'll hit continue and then all of your different things that you've already added for the last course will be in your brand new course including some of the images so you know I would have to go in and update all of these things but um, yes everything should be there now if you import or try to import and you find that something's not working usually it has to do with that page that first page where it asks you the building blocks of what you want to import so the blocks the activities and resources the question bank so you can always double check and you can always redo the import and then just delete what you don't need um, or just import the pieces that it missed the last time so as always if you have questions or want help getting started with any of this please feel free to reach out to me at academic technology at trinity.edu and i'll be happy to help thanks